Hello once again, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. We're continuing our series here on our E-Mini Bull Bear Basic, our free method. This is uh, our next video in the series. This is a continuation of our volume video that we left off with, our part two of volume, to, to bring in the volume into the CCI and then also into our price action bars. We last, when we last left off, we were talking about the blue uh, volume bar at first. Then we brought in our moving average line here. And then we also brought in the green lines as you see through here, up through here and so forth. And the green volume bars, what this is, is when the volume goes above our red line, this itself goes green. So what we want to do now is we want to actually bring in the volume into our price action charts and then we want to bring it into the CCI. So let's go ahead and bring this chart into uh, our price action charts. Alright, so now we're looking at the volume here uh, also in here along with our price action. So when we're looking at volume, we're looking at our green volume bars. And just by itself we can see that we have a bunch of green volume bars to make a decision on with our red bar here and we see a bunch of different areas that we can look at. Here's another uh, looking through here, here's another red with a green and so forth. Now once again if we just use volume and then you can see through here that's when I was talking about that trading range, remember? Remember that trading range that we brought in from the very beginning? How did I know that was a trading range? Look at this volume through here. Look how light it is. And then we see a spike right in through here, this area that coincides with this false move up. It kind of slows down. And then we see another spike through here coinciding with this move through here. So I talked about volume being the key, correct? Now that we know that volume is our key, we can add in our volume to help us make trading decisions when the market is looking the best to probably take on a trade like through here and through this area and then obviously at the end of the day through this area we see our best trading opportunities and if we take this with our CCI indicators and we can see a nice volume in the morning that might have produced maybe a win maybe a loss in the early part of the morning crossover through here So now let's t bring in our CCI along with our volume to see the overall picture here. As a way of review, let's look at uh, several different things here. We, looked, we talked about the green line here being the high of the previous day. We talked about this blue dotted line right through here being our upper average daily range. Here's your 200 bar MA, this brown line through here. Here's your 50 bar MA. Working our way down here, we talked about this, the fast moving average and our slower moving av average, the green bar. We talked about our lower average daily range, and we talked about the low of the previous day. The low of the previous day forms support, where the high of the previous day forms what we call major resistance. So we have major resistance, major support, we have our lower average daily range here, and then we have our upper average daily range. Now if we look at our CCI, we, uh, as a way of review, we have our red bars, and obviously we have our green bars. Our green, and then we have our condition where we're overbought through this area, and through this area, and then remember we have our oversold through this area. Oversold through here, overbought through here. And lastly, we have our volume. We have our green volume bars, which are our most important bars through the day. And then we have what we have low volume bars through here, coinciding with our trading range. So what we're going to show today is we're going to bring in all of our decision areas, and we're going to look at it, each one of these, determine if it is a proper decision area. Our first crossover roughly happens in this area and more in like tune right through here. If we look at this bar right here and let me show you. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight our perhaps areas we, as we crossed over. We can see crossover through here, uh, and then we see through here that this was not above the 100 bar. We had a green bar volume, but this negates this. Now we look over here, and we have another decision area through here. We'll get into if it's a good trade or not on our next video, putting it all together. But here we have the crossover, which is the first legitimate crossover through here, and also our green volume bar through here. Look down here on the other side of this now. We see this bar right here coincides roughly in this area with our red bar and here is our green volume right through here looking across with our volume here there's a crossover through here green volume bar and we had green uh, volume uh, excuse me green CCI above overbought uh, above 100 and we have our green volume here we close down underneath here right here is our close and then we are able to move forward here here's our last consideration right and through here get this highlight and right let me try this again here right through here is our decision area here's our overbought condition through here and here's our green volume through here so if we're looking at today we can see that we can throw out this first one here this first one right here we don't have enough right through here we have to ask ourselves, uh, the question is, do we have enough room for profit? And we'll cover that on our putting it all together on the next video. We look through here, we have to ask ourselves once again, do we have enough room for profit down through to here, our lower average daily range? Is this a good trade position through here at this period of time? We'll cover that as well. We look through here, obviously this is nothing through here that we don't want to be involved in a market that's doing nothing and we look through here we can see we have our trading ranges through here and last but not least we see this area through here with our green volume bar giving us another really nice trade uh, towards the end of the day through here and we'll talk about do we have enough room for profit so we're going to take the look at our trading day in more detail on the next video what I wanted to bring into to you today is to putting it kind of putting it all together as you see a total method here do you have enough room for profit is the question that we're going to ask ourselves over and o over so the big question mark always will be do you have enough room for profit on your trades if so you're going to go ahead and take a shot for this because you're going to look at winning more than you're losing on this particular strategy so this is our big question that we'll be uh, handling on our next video we're putting it all together putting the CCI through the volume in and also our price action all together into a combined strategy for you this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management I wish you the best in your trades take care everyone we'll talk to you soon on the next video thank you